Shops are some of my favorite tools for sharpening. For me, it's the final stage in sharpening an edge. We have many different straps to suit your individual needs. This is our smallest strap. It is our, our only handheld strap. It's six inches long um, and it does have the hand grips. And basically you just hold it in this manner um, as, you, as you draw your knife across it. Our next size is our eight by two. Uh, this is basically sized to be like a traditional eight by two inch stone. Think of this as basically a very fine sharpening stone. And then we have what we call our bench straps. These can be mounted to your bench. And we have one ten in, that is 10 inches long and two inches wide an excellent one for knives, and then we have this extra large one that is 12 inches long, 3 inches wide. It can be used on just about any knife. It is also great for tools because it is wider. And then also we have what we call our paddle straps. All of our paddle straps are two-sided. We have a suede side and then we have a smooth side. This one is 8 inches by 2 inches. And then we also have our extra large which is 12 inches um, 12 inches by 3 inches and this also features both the, the suede side and the smooth side. We often get the question of whether you should purchase a smooth or a suede sided strop and really the simple answer is either one will work just fine. You can use the suede side on any tool or knife or the smooth side on any tool or knife. Uh, we have found that woodworkers and carvers do tend to prefer the suede side and people with knives tend to prefer the smooth side. When using straps, I do recommend using a uh, compound on the straps. It does produce a fine edge much more quickly than using it without, um, but you could, you could use the straps without. It uh, just won't sharpen or polish your edge nearly as, as quickly. Basically, it's very easy. Uh, you literally just, uh, just kind of rub it back and forth on the surface. Uh, it's not a thing of beauty. This is just uh, to get some of the abrasive uh, material on, on your strap. It's uh, not too dissimilar from uh, using a crayon back when you were in grade school. Using a strap is actually quite simple. What you do after you've applied your compound is just to really just pull your knife, pull your knife across it and uh, you'll notice I'm not, I'm not cutting into the leather. If I, if, I, if I were to do it in this manner like I would a sharpening stone, I would cut directly into the leather. So basically you're just pulling Pulling the edge across, and I'm just kind of alternating sides. And this is really, really getting this thing sharp. It, this this knife was sharp to start with, but it's now getting even sharper. And usually about, I would say about 10 passes per side. It really does depend on how, how finely sharpened your knife was to start with. If you had taken it to an extremely fine stone beforehand, you'll notice a significant difference after just one or two passes. We've selected the leather for our straps based on its properties for sharpening. We had to select a leather that was not too hard and it wasn't too soft. If it's too hard, uh, it, you just do not get that, that, uh, that tactile feedback. Um, from the strap and it just your knife just kind of skids across it. If it's too soft You tend to kind of round over that edge. We did try to find leather that would accept uh, the, the honing compound better. Some leathers just don't accept it very well at all. If you still have any questions about our straps, please just give us a call.